MacGyver. Hi, I'm MacGyver. Uh, first up, I just want to let you know some news. I've been made an Eve partner as a result of the YouTube videos and the YouTube channel. What that means is that I'm in some way now uh, officially affiliated with Eve Online. For my part, I'll be given a lot of skins to, to give away to, to you guys. And it means that I'll have a source of income to allow me to do the silly things that I do in these videos. Which means there's going to be more of the silliness. But also more of the tutorials and suggestions for things to do. And the, the kind of stuff that you've, you've probably got used to seeing on the channel. This has only happened because of you guys watching the videos and subscribing and liking. So for that, thank you very much. And it's your fault that there's going to be more of this. Today... I'm going to be looking ahead to what I think is one of the greatest things about this whole game and this whole universe, the Alliance Tournament. Events are a big thing in EVE Online, whether it's the different empires, celebration, liberation, foundation, federation day, or the Grand Prix, proving grounds, anger games, frigate free for all, fan fest, CSM, the hunt, friendship week, guardian scala, the interstellar convergence of Doctor Who crossover, there's always something going on. But the biggest event by far, the biggest deal in New Eden's calendar, is the Alliance Tournament. Wars are fought on many battlefields. Bloody victories, ruthlessly ripped from enemy hands. Tattered flags, once proudly carried, fall torn upon the wrecks and the corpses of the bearers. Innumerable battles have been fought amongst these blood-stained stars. Be they for glory, supremacy, survival, or revenge. The cycle continues. There is blood yet to be shed. Flags yet to burn. And among them, a few shall emerge to be hung upon the shattered piles of their enemies. Take up your flag, Capsuleer. The next battle draws nigh. This is Alliance Tournament 17. It's the World Cup of EVE Online. A knockout tournament that whittles down Alliance teams through a series of matches until the final two battle it out for a shed load of goodies plus the AT title. The Alliance tournament is unique in EVE in that it gives you an undisputed quantifiable winner. There's no league table in EVE Online, no points in the game. You don't level up, you can measure how much space an Alliance holds but that doesn't tell you how good the pilots are may just be how many they have. That's the thing, it's hard to tell. But once a year, the Alliance Tournament rolls around and provides a definitive opportunity to be crowned the best at something in EVE. The tournament started in 2005 as the Kaldari Championships, but swiftly became the Alliance Tournament. The band of brothers, Bob Alliance, dominated for the first few years, but it wasn't until 2009 and wins from Pandemic Legion that the tournament stepped up a level and introduced the prizes that made everyone sit up and take notice, the tournament prize ships. This is awesome actually, repeat champions, both years a complete domination of the tournament as far as I'm concerned. They lost one match this time around to V3 early in the uh, tournament during the qualifying rounds of the setup, not, not as cool as this one they're using right now. But um, I think, you know, we may have a, what, what would you call it, like a tournament dynasty or something like that? We'll have to see how they do. Um, I don't see anyone in this tournament that's even close to their their level of execution and their level of planning. Uh, really low armor, he has a big tank obviously, but they're about to finish him off and then it'll just be one saber that stands between them and 50 um, hilariously awesome new unique uh, Minotaur cruisers. Every year the winners get blueprints for brand new exclusive ships which cannot be obtained through any other means. Last year's winners, Hydra Reloaded, battled through five rounds, the semi-final, and destroyed We Form Volta in the final to get 40 Raiju and 40 Leolaps. At current market prices, that's 16 trillion isk of ships or thereabouts. This is a show of absolute dominance by Hydra, even with 15 ships banned. 
15. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to craft a comp when you've got that kind of restriction on you? And they manage to do it. They they pull it out. They come out with this comp and they, they slap Volta 3-0 comprehensively, commandingly, decisively. And they also get skins and plex. So that's the history and the prizes. But what does the tournament actually involve? There's two parts to the tournament. There's the feeder tournament, where alliances battle it out to get to the later alliance tournament proper. Um, I'm going to get us started right off the bat here. Uh, Tissue has come in with a standard uh, Mimitar rush at zero. They're going uh, triple slep near Moa, double Jackdaw, Loki, double Kieran, and an Orthrus. Uh, Alec, you want to talk us through what initiative I brought? Initiative looks to be doing an armor comp centered around three Tempest fleet issues, very heavy hitting battleships. I really like their choice of logistics. That is the Rodiva, the Tech 1 Triglavian. Links are up. We're about to get going. For Links, they've got a Pontifex, uh, some Tackle, and then importantly, Bombers. I think comp wise, those Bombers are a weak point that those Slefners will absolutely devour if they can get on top of them. And that's the match. Congratulations, Tissue. You've broken a lot of hearts out there in the chat. Alliances can do a blind auction where they pledge Plex to try and bypass the feeder stage and enter directly into the finals. The match rules are generally as follows. Each team can field 10 pilots with a certain number of ships. The fleet compositions are restricted in that they can only fly a certain amount of each type of ship and there's similar restrictions on both modules and drones, i.e. restrictions on the amount of logistic ships each team can fly. Each ship type has a certain value, which is used to determine fleet composition restrictions. The fight is a maximum of 10 minutes long. The winner is the team who obliterates the other side. If there's no clear winner, then it's down to looking at the ship points of the destroyed ships. The winner is the team who gains the most points. The fight takes place inside an arena which will kill you if you leave it. The arena is in an otherwise inaccessible part of New Eden, but the ships must be bought by the teams. Once they're lost, they're lost. So it's a real isk risk. But to see what's truly involved in being a team in the Alliance tournament, you have to take a step back to before the first match even begins. Being in a team involves prep, practice, tactics, time and experience. Each one of these teams has spent countless hours trying things out, knocking things into shape, and practice, practice, practice in between normal EVE activities and real life. It's dedication, sure, but what I hear from everyone who takes part is that it's a great way to develop your EVE skills, discover skills you didn't know you had, and also great for bonding. Plus, and this should be said a lot more in EVE, it's a lot of fun. Last year, the feeder tournament began at the beginning of October. All of the fights are streamed live and analysed and commentated by a crack team of devs, streamers and Eve's finest. The presentation of the tournament has come a long way since the first distorted commentary of Bob's win. I'm telling you now, 150% 100, for effort on that one. And now resembles a top NFL show. Hello, I am CCP Antiquarian, and I'm happy to welcome you back. Welcome back. This is CCP Fozzie, joined by Elise Randolph, and we have We Form Volta versus Bright Side of Death, and another flagship on the field. This time, the Bright Side of Death Armageddon. Match is about to go underway. I mean, Volta, I think they just rush in and kill stuff, right? That, that, that's their play, right? That has to be the play for Volta here. Uh, however, that means getting into what's probably a faction uh, grappler from that uh, flagship. Yeah. Uh, and you're just going to be under newt pressure all the time. From a flagship get in, they can just newt most of the field from the center. Yeah, so a lot of people are like, oh, Slepnir, it's pretty much immune to newts. Yep, so we're going to send it back to the guys in the studio to break down that action. And welcome back to the desk here at Alliance Tournament 15. <laughs> Uh, I am still CSP Antiquarian. Uh, this is Yintan and moderator, and we are continuing to bring you coverage of Alliance Tournament. There we just had Weform Volta, Bright Side of Death, Bright Side not being able to make it further in the tournament. They fall to Volta, who will advance uh, into the next match. Uh, they move down to uh, face off the uh, against the Tuskers. Uh, that match set to come up at uh, 1700 Eve times. Slow motion replay, stats, and expert opinions galore.
The sign-ups for this year's Alliance Tournament, Alliance Tournament 18, close on August the 24th. You should now keep your eyes peeled to see who's made it through to the finals via the blind auction and who will be making the long trip through the trials tournament. Watch out to see when the broadcasts will take place, pick your favourites and wait to find out what this year's Alliance Tournament's exclusive prize ships will be. I'm MacGyver, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.